just a disclaimer the answer actually approached me via email they wanted to have me try out the the answer plugin but we have no input or any influence on what i'm going to say here on this video and also uh, just to add i'm not a professional colorist nor i do color grading for a living for videos but i'm just a normal content creator in youtube that i'm looking for something that could spice up my videos in this video will not show you step by step on how to use the uh, the dehancer plugin you will be able to see a lot of videos here in youtube with that i'm just going to show you why dehancer could be one of the tools that you can use in your arsenal to spice up your videos i downloaded the prop plugin right away and then i installed it on my laptop yeah so i tried but i did i did have the error being the technical person that i am i i thought i could fix it by myself so i tried searching via google i tried finding ways to resolve the problem and it reached at least a week and then i still couldn't fix it i reached out to the hansers support team after a few hours i immediately got a response actually was only the driver the nvidia drivers that needs to be updated and fix the problem i wasted a week for this but yeah then i continued so let's put it this way the answer is a tool or a plugin that you can emulate film on your videos or on your photos all right so we are here in davinci resolve under the color tab and i'm just going to show you once you install the once you install the plugin the dehancer plugin all you actually need to do is uh, just look at it on the library of plugins you know, mostly it's at the bottom so all you have to, to scroll down to the bottom and all you have to do is drag it to a note and that's it you'll see on the right side the under the Hanser Pro 7.0.1 that's the version you'll be able to select the profile of the film and immediately you'll be displayed with what the film looks like as you change it film compression you expand film developer and, and these things that you you see will only be applied when you click the enable uh, box when you tick it when you tick the box you can do the exposure compensation if it's too dark or too bright and you'll have these options so for me i'm i'm still learning how how this works but um the idea here is try to play with it uh try to see how it how it looks like when you do something on these options it would depend really on your, your creativity and how, what you like what your preferences are uh, for example if i enable the profile inhalation this would simulate a 16 millimeter super 16 if i review the video i'll see that some halations are, are added on the video itself yeah see if i change the film push and pull meaning the uh, the compensation if you want to add more if you want to add less on this film type then you'll do that it will work that way so now i'm actually building some kind of a sequence that i can show you before and after Now it's time to try the iOS app, the Dehancer iOS app. And so first thing, when you open the app, it looks like this, their actual logo. 
if you noticed on the previous minutes and then all you have to do is open now if you have not purchased a license for this app you will still be able to use it the only thing you can preview the photos but you cannot export them now since the answer has provided me a license for this thank you very much it's an annual subscription i'll be able to use this for the rest of the year but yeah all we have to do really is just to open the app uh, i have it on a folder let's try opening this one so right off the bat you'll be able to see it will display the, the presets that is available for the app kodak portra 400 it emulates kodak portra 400 film effect on the photo itself you can actually go and uh, go deep into the settings on this one for example if it turns out to be darker you can put the exposure a bit up tonal contrast saturation put it in the highest color density you can actually do that you can also add film grain and, and you can even change the size resolution for example another one is halation if you can see halation will be added that's that's with less that's with more and there's bloom bloom will be added here there's a vignette you can use see it because it gives a vignette effect and another one is film damage you can actually put dusts on it <laughs> and, and make the dust bigger there's really not much as of a limit in here so for example you have your last edit there you can actually save it by clicking save on the lower right and that's the beauty of this so it will just add up all the dehancer team has added to the app plus yours and and so on and so forth i always think anything like this is some kind of a starting point for example kodak ektar 25 is some kind of a moody uh, kind of edit and then temperature i can actually lessen it so go to film and that's where the film that we change then we go to developer so these things i even even with what i mentioned on the the venture resolve plugin it's the same thing you have to try and test what these things can do it's because you only be able to unlock or be able to find out outcome if you try it and if you don't then you don't you won't know so one thing that i notice is upon using this app is that you won't be able to batch edit your photos so um, that's what i usually do especially for a shoot shoot like this i want to have all the photos i took with the same uh, look yeah it's something that i want to i want to like to have a batch edit uh, option where you can just select the photos and then apply the the preset that you save so that you'll save time and of course be able to apply it at once i hope that makes sense you can use the code van l v a n l to get a 10 percent discount if you want to purchase license for the dehancer plugin may it be a plugin for davinci resolve uh, after effects final cut pro adobe premiere photoshop lightroom classic and the ios application so thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one happy new year bye bye